or misconstrued as white are acceptable and tolerable. Second, do you really know what you are actually saying and what you are actually doing when you are going about calling some people a division of our humanity white? I am sure that just like me, prior to being awakened and enlightened, most of you might not have seriously thought about it or maybe just simply take it for granted. Again, because it is both culturally, historically, and traditionally inheritable and acceptable. Very few people dare question it. But for your information, when you say that a person is white, or when you call a person or a group of people white, you are actually distinguishing them and bestowing, or if you prefer, conferring on them a name, a status, a title, an honor, a blessing, a vibration, and a compliment that they may not be in any way whatsoever deserving. When you call a person or a group of people white, you are actually and practically verbalizing, pronouncing, and echoing, and vibrating word sounds and power to them, up on them, and into the cosmos, the proclamation that they are bright, and that they are the people that shines, and that they bring light and love to you and to the world. When you call a person or a group of people white, you're actually saying, often in ignorance, that they are a person or a people of fairness, a people of love, of justice, uh, of trustworthiness, meaning that they can be trusted, that they are a people of honesty, transparency, that they are a people of the highest integrity, that they are the people that the, the, the epitome of beauty, purity, quality, incorruptibility, venerability, and of course, that they are a people of superiority. When you call a person or a group of people white, you are actually saying that they are morally pure and perfect, and that they are without blemish, they are honorable, that they are undefiled and filled with innocence, that they are sincere, that they are virtuous, peaceful, just, and that they are of royalty and power among all the other great qualities, characteristics, nobility, sanity, and prestige that are the profound attributes of that which I consider, personally consider from my perspective, to be the very sacred, majestic, and awe-inspiring word, white. The word white and its symbol in just about every culture, religion, and tradition that I know mean and represent light and truth along with all the aforementioned attributes. And as such, white is known and considered superior to black our darkness any and every time. In fact, white, the word and its symbol, is well known and well defined as the direct and complete opposite of the word black. I personally and honestly know of no one, let alone any human being on this planet today, that is deserving of being called white. Thereby, I willingly, knowingly, bestowing or conferring all those great qualities and attributes on them. No, I know of no such one. From my perspective, a lot of the systems erroneously called white people, the systems erroneously um, called white political leaders, 
religious leaders, community leaders, the systems erroneously called white educators, scientists, the propaganda news media erroneously called uh, white commentators and entertainers, etc., who know and are aware of this truth, this logical, physical, visible, and scientific fact that they are not white. In no sense of the word, neither in body, skin, complexion, blood, in their veins, their character, or in spirit, you name it, do not want you or us, the public, their so-called inferior, the rest of the earth's humanity to know. And why? Because from my perspective, it would take away their power and make them or rather make us all equal again. They would lose their unearned status of superiority, which, as I have mentioned, the very word white denotes. It would break down the hypocritical walls of superiority. It would break down the facade of, of classism, elitism, capitalism, imperialism, and almost the entire family of isms. Even the erroneously called white supremacist, supremacist Ku Klux Klan know and understand that they are not white in no sense of the word or by any standard of the word. And that is why they wear hoods, garments, and clothing of white material to fool the uninformed into thinking that they are white. If you should ask me what shade or skin color that I would personally and most sincerely use to describe and represent my erroneously called white human brothers and sisters, I would tell you in all fairness that from my observation, meaning what I am literally seeing with my eyes, from my perception, my perception, meaning my spiritual and intuitive insight, and from my perspective, meaning my point of looking or viewing, their skin complexion and appearance would be most appropriately described as being pale or reddish pink or pinkish pale, which is said to be a deficiency as a result or as a deficiency of high concentration of melanin in the skin. The same way I on occasion describe my, the palm of my hands and the sole of my feet or my foot bottom. Let me also hasten to say that this, from my perspective, this has nothing to do with a person being inferior or superior one to another. The teachings these teachings and ideologies are designed by the system to divide and conquer so that they can control or that so that they can better control humanity. Now, if you should ask me what I would call them or what we should call them, I would tell you in all honesty that I would not mischievously maliciously, revengefully, or contentiously 